ब्लू स्टॉकिंग ग्रुप वॉज फाउंडेड इन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी द चीफ मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ब्लू स्टॉकिंग ग्रुप वर एलिजाबेथ मॉन्टेग्यू एलिजाबेथ वेसी हन्ना मोर एंड मिसेस फ्रांसिस बोस्कैवल सम ऑफ द फेमस राइटर्स लाइक डॉक्टर सैम्युअल जॉनसन जेम्स बॉसवेल हॉरेस वेलपोल एंड डेविड गैरिक वर ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विथ द ब्लू स्टॉकिंग ग्रुप द प्राइमरी एम ऑफ द ब्लू स्टॉकिंग ग्रुप वॉज टू एनकरेज एंड नर्चर लिटररी जीनियस इट डिटेस्टेड पॉलिटिकल डिस्कशन इट वॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ सम इंटेलेक्चुअल वीमेन राइटर्स इन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट ब्लू स्टॉकिंग ग्रुप एंड लुनार सोसाइटी द लुनार सोसाइटी वॉज फॉर्म इन सेवनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव द चीफ मेम्बर्स ऑफ द लुनार सोसायटी वेअर इरेसमस डार्विन मॅथ्यू बॉल्टन जोसेफ प्रिसले जोसिया वेजवुड अँड जेम्स वॅट द लुनार सोसायटी वॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ फिलॉसॉफर्स सायंटिस्ट अँड थिंकर्स द मेंबर्स ऑफ द लुनार सोसायटी हेल्प देमसेल्व्ह ॲज लुनॅटिक्स यू विल डेफिनेटली लाईक दिस व्हिडिओ आय हॅव ऑलरेडी प्रोड्यूस्ड अ व्हिडिओ ऑन स्क्रिप्लेरस क्लब अँड द किटकॅट क्लब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कॅन विजिट अ वेबसाईट द लिंक ऑफ द वेबसाईट इज देअर ऑन द स्क्रीन इफ यू लाईक द कॉन्टेंट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दिस चॅनल डू लाईक अँड सबस्क्राईब लिटरेचर गाईड लेट्स डाईव्ह इन टू अ व्हिडिओ अँड एन्जॉय द व्हिडिओ Blue Stockings Group and Lunar Society The term Blue Stockings has been applied in disparaging sense for the intellectual and sociable women of the later part of the 18th century. It was probably named after the unconventional cheap and worsted blue stockings worn instead of the black silk stockings by Benjamin Stillingfleet. Some of the active members of the Blue Stockings Club were Mrs. Elizabeth Vesey, Hannah Moore, Hester Chapone, Mrs. Frances Boscowen, Elizabeth Montague, Elizabeth Carter, Mary Delaney. It was Elizabeth Vesey who resolved to establish a literary and fashionable society for new type of evening party with the support of her husband in the 1750s. She had a novel method of breaking her parties into small groups. She hosted the meetings for nearly 50 years. The primary aim of the Blue Stockings group was to promote and encourage the budding literary genius. The Blue Stockings group took delight in tea, coffee, and lemonade parties instead of drinking alcohol and card games. It abhorred political discussions and swearing. Elizabeth Vesey hosted the meetings of the Blue Stockings group in early 1750s. Many famous men of letters were regular visitors of the group including Samuel Johnson, Horace Walpole, Samuel Richardson, David Garrick, Joshua Reynolds, and James Boswell. They were invited as guests of the meetings. A few meetings of the group were held at the houses of Joshua Reynolds and Hester Thrale. Hannah Moore has described the conversational charm of the Blue Stockings group in her poem Basbler. It was composed in 1782 and published in 1784. She was supported and encouraged by the Blue Stockings Society. She became a member of the group in 1775. In her poem Basbler, Hannah Moore has hailed Elizabeth Vesey, Francis Boscowen, and Elizabeth Montague as the triple crown among the Blue Stockings group who hosted the meetings of the Blue Stockings. Horace Walpole was a regular attender and staunch supporter of the Blue Stockings Society, he called Elizabeth Vesey's gatherings as Babels. Another celebrated hostess of the Blue Stockings was Elizabeth Montague. She helped many budding authors of the time with money and encouragement. She began to host meetings of the Blue Stockings Society in 1750s. Hannah Moore hailed her as the female Mycenas of Hill Street. She was called as Queen of the Blues by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Lunar Society, or Lunar Circle The Lunar Society was a group of intellectuals, theologians, natural scientists and thinkers in Birmingham who used to gather for the meetings during the full moon. 
The members of the lunar circle could meet and go home safely in the full moonlight. It was so because of the absence of electricity in those days. They called themselves as lunatics which was a pun on the word lunatics. The Lunar Society was also known as Lunar Circle when it was established. In 1775, it was named as Lunar Society. Some of the chief figures of the Lunar Society were Erasmus Darwin, Joseph Priestley, Matthew Bolton, James Watt, and Josiah Wedgwood. Some of the meetings of the Lunar Society were held at Darwin's house in Litchfield where he developed a botanical garden. Erasmus Darwin translated Carl von Linnaeus's Genera Plantarum, 1771, a theory of plant classification as the botanic garden which appeared between 1789 and 1791. The first part of it appeared as the economy of vegetation and the second part the loves of plants in 1789. The poem also contains Darwin's views on scientific and industrial matters. It is important to note that it was parodied by John Hookham Frere as The Loves of the Triangle in the literary magazine Anti Jacobin in 1798. Joseph Priestley, one of the members of the Lunar Society, was a famous chemist and one of the founders of the Unitarian Society. He wrote religious treatises. His essay on the first principle of government was published in 1768, and Disquisition Relating to Matter of Spirit in 1777. It is important to note that his laboratory and house in Birmingham was attacked by a mob due to his views on the French Revolution. The Lunar Society served people from 1765 to 1813. Joseph Wright, a friend to Erasmus Darwin, was famous for his paintings, and effects of light, moonlight, candlelight, and the lights coming through the window panes. He was patronized by Josiah Wedgwood. His works vividly present the scientific zeal in the industrial Midlands. It is important to note that Erasmus Darwin's famous poem The Botanical Garden resembles to Joseph Wright's marvelous pictures in feeling. He seemed to be associated with the Lunar Society. How is the video? I hope you liked the video. I have already produced many videos on various topics of English literature. If you want to get more information, you can connect with a website. The link of the website is there on the screen. I will meet you soon with a new and fresh topic of English literature. Meet you.